Hello everyone, Ben Sigma here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video tutorial, I'll be walking you through the step-by-step -step guide on how to use Tenorshare Reiboot Standalone Tool which is available for both Windows and Mac OS. If you ever own an iPhone that is stuck on DFU mode or recovery mode or black screen or maybe it won't even turn on, this tool is going to help you to fix these software-related issues without any hassle. On top of that, Tenorshare Reiboot can also fix more than 150 plus iOS, iPad OS, TV OS, and Mac OS system issues. Before we dive into this video tutorial, my goal is to make sure that at the end of this video, you should have a comprehensive knowledge on how to download this software, how to set it up, and also how to use it. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider smashing the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon for future updates. The link to download the software will be available in the description below. So you just open the link there and then this is where you'll be brought tenorshare.com and that is where you can find the software to download. And you can see it's a number one free iOS system repair software and it got a lot of um, tons of features that you can check it out. It have more than 150 plus um, for, uh, iOS um, system repair features. So this is where you just click. You just click on the prominent button here, free download and then you just uh, download the tool. It's a very light tool, so the download is done. Less than a few seconds, it's done. And then if you have Mac OS, you can click on this prominent button here and then also download for the Mac um, OS. So that's how to download it for both Windows and Mac. So once you are done, open it to begin with the installation. You just click install and the terms and agreement is already ticked on, ticked. So you just click install. And then you wait for some few seconds for the installation um, process to be completed. Alright, so the installation is completed. So just click on done for the tool to launch for the first time. So this is how the interface looks like. Very simple and eye-catching. Alright, sure. So I have my iPhone um, 12 connected. And as you can see, I'll be explaining some of the features that the tool is having. Um, starting with the recovery mode, as you can see, we have recovery mode. We have enter recovery and exit recovery mode. I want to real quick show you guys how this um, tool works. I'll be going through all the features that the tool is having. And uh, uh, so real quick, let me click on the um, enter recovery mode and let's talk about how it works. So click enter uh, recovery mode. It's going to take some few seconds to put your device into recovery mode the same way if you have an iphone that is stuck on the recovery mode you just connect it and click exit recovery mode if it doesn't exit the recovery mode you can go ahead and try some of the features that i'm, I'm yet to explain that is also going to help you to fix the system issues all right sure. so the device is in recovery mode the next thing we can do is to just click on the exit recovery mode you can see here we have exit recovery mode so uh, this is going to exit the um, recovery mode all right sure so the recovery mode has been exited and then we are good to go so you can see from the two it says uh successfully exited so that um, it means that the recovery mode has has been um exited so uh, the next thing is to one click reset your device that is another feature that the tool is having we have um the factory data reset or the um the data uh, the complete data reset which is obviously going to um format the the entire phone also we, before we have the one click reset option which is just going to basically leave your uh, data on the device so once you choose any of these um that you prefer you just click on the factory reset button over here as you can see and then you are good to um go also we have anti-data recovery mode uh which this option is obviously going to help you to also reset your device but uh this time around if you want to um make sure you get rid of every and or clean the uh, the disks on the device entirely which means you are going to probably sell the device or give it out to somebody or something so you are going to use this option so it's going to click entirely like deep flash or deep clean okay so that's for this option here we have ios upgrade or downgrade which is basically means which basically means you are going to upgrade your ios 
and on your device so the first one is to upgrade and keep the data and also uh the second one is to downgrade and uh, for the um, ios 16 and there's going to be a data loss so you, go, you are going to um, go ahead and be sure of what you are, you are doing so um with this one it's for signed firmware so you can downgrade to the signed firmware and also uh with this one it's upgraded uh, uh, version to upgrade your device we have more features here you can i am going to go through some of the features here we have explore ios beta features yeah if you click on this it's going to yeah it's going, it's going to bring you it's going to uh, bring you to this um uh, interface here i think it's going to uh, give you the available ios or signed firmware for your device and uh you just click on the download button to um download the firmware for your device um also if uh, you have the firmware available on your laptop if you don't want to download it you can just import the firmware from your laptop to the software to use it we have uh, mac os upgrade or downgrade this feature is also going to help you to um uh, upgrade your mac OS. so you can check that out we have repair itunes one of the coolest features that i like about this tool is the repair driver feature this is going to help you to re repair your driver so you can see all the drivers are normal installed and all connected you can click on advanced and then you can uninstall any bad driver you feel like uh it's uh, disturbing you or worrying you you can also reset install new uh, driver and all those uh, stuff also we have reset mac os this uh, op option is also basically going to help you to reset your mac os um without any hassle we have repair mac os system issues it's also obviously going to help you to um help you to fix the mac os um, issues and also we have the um a firmware uh a error for uh, 4013 or whatsoever and it's basically going to help you to fix itunes issue also we have enter dfu mode instruction and exit dfu mode instruction and this is basically going to help you to um, guide you on how to enter dfu mode for the respective devices such as 7 plus uh 8 plus x ss mass all almost all the devices ipad ipod you can switch them from here and choose the one you want so any device that you want to enter into dfu mode or recovery mode you head over to this um part or this section of the software and it's going to instruct you on how to put the device into a uh, dfu mode also we have some um other features like backup and restore which i think you have to download them so i'm not go going i'm not going to be going through this um step uh, for the sake of time so i'll leave this one for now so you can check them out i think you have to download them manually all right sure so with that being said i'll choose one of the features here and go through and um, also we have start to repair all right start to repair is going to also help you to uh, repair your ios devices like black screen stack on logo um loop booting black uh, that's then um, recovery stack in recovery and all those things so we have a uh, option that is going to help you to do that without the data loss whereas we have another option that is going to uh, do that that is complete data loss or complete um um erase you understand so i have an iphone x that is stuck in the recovery mode and i'll be showing you guys how to fix the issue using the one click reset option here that um uh, require no um hassle so all you need to do is to just choose which of them you want if you want to factory reset or you just want to reset so i'll go with the factory reset and click this option here what i need to do here is to just click download button to download the firmware now if i have the firmware i don't have to download it again no need to download so if you have issue downloading the firmware if you don't have the firmware just click on the other option here otherwise click import and then you browse to the directory where you have the firmware saved on your laptop and then you import the firmware and then you confirm yes to start the process so the tool is going to basically uh, verify the firmware and then reset the device without any hassle during the pro this process is going to take some time you just need to um just sit and relax take some coffee and wait for the tool to do its thing
all right sure so the process is completed as you can see the congratulations uh signed over there the message over there shows that the tool has completed the work so you just click on done and wait for a device to boot up and set it up that is how to use this software and thanks for watching i'll see you guys in my next video till then peace out